Big Ten basketball tournament quarterfinals today in Indianapolis. Illinois came from behind and had top-seeded Michigan on the ropes in the first game of the day. Before the game injured Michigan star Mitch McGarry showing some pregame moves. Boy, could they use him. First half, Michigan on a roll. Freshman Zach Irvin with his first ever shot in a Big Ten tournament. It's money. A three that's perfect. Five-point lead. Late in the half, game tied at 30. Nick Stauskas does what Nick Stauskas does best. Gets open for a three. Second half, more three-balling by Michigan. Spike Albrecht open. It's an 11-point lead, but Illinois roared back. Ravante Rice drives through the teeth of the Michigan D. Illinois is up two. Michigan down one, runs a pick and roll. Final second, Stauskas to Jordan Morgan. The go-ahead back at eight seconds to play. Time for Illinois to design a game-winning play with just under four seconds left. Perfectly designed to Tracy Abrams, but he missed the three-footer that would have won the game. Michigan survives 64-63, moves into tomorrow's semifinals against Ohio State, which beat Nebraska today. We're thrilled to get that win uh, because, uh, as you can see, as Illinois has shown in the last their last six games, how well the program has won, has played after you know a tough January. So we had a lot of respect for them coming in. They proved how good they were, and uh, fortunately we got some good bounces uh, around the basket to finish the game. Michigan, as I said, to play Ohio State in tomorrow's semifinals. The Buckeyes winning today. MSU uh, hoping to join the Final Four field tomorrow with a win over Northwestern tonight. Tip off around 9 or 9.15. The Spartans last won this Big Ten tournament two years ago and were mighty excited to do so, beating Ohio State in the championship game and able to cut the nets to give guys like then-sophomore Keith Appling something to remember. Appling would like to create another memory this weekend after the Spartans fell short of winning the Big Ten regular season title. We're just going to do whatever we can to uh, go to Indy and try to win the tournament championship. You know, we still have unfinished business, which is to get to a Final Four and win the national championship and win the Big Ten championship. I'm sure you're disappointed that you didn't get that regular season title, so you want to put something in that trophy case. Oh, yeah, definitely. Able to hold together and make this thing work and get back on track. You know, it'll be my second tournament championship, so I'm really looking forward to this tournament and so is with the rest of my teammates. Girls High School Basketball State Tournament semifinals all day today at MSU's Breslin Center. Two area teams still alive coming into today's action, one of them playing this afternoon. In Class A, the Grand Ledge Comets look to make their first ever appearance in the finals, needing a win over Canton to do so. Not much offense for the Comets in the first half. Canton on the run. Taylor Hundley connects with Paige Arisco underneath for two. Chiefs with a three-point lead at the half. Grand Ledge flipped the switch in the third quarter. Lindsay Orwat passes to Corey Crocker. She hits the jumper. Comets alive. Then Hannah Orwat drives to the paint, hits the jumper. Grand Ledge up by two. Canton's defense would be the demise of the Comets. Shannon Perry will pick the steal. The Chiefs turn this into a touchdown. Arisco hits Hundley, top of the key for a three. Canton pulls away to defeat the ledge, 35-28. Comets finish a terrific season, 24-3. and A lot of credit to Canton, the way they came out and defended us. You know, we were able to, in a lot of games this year, kind of do what we want offensively. I always felt like our stuff is good, and then we can go and, and, and take advantage of that. But today, you know, Canton did a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, normally weren't we able to do. We could not make a shot. We came out very flat and give credit to them. Their defense was really good. And we call ourselves a defensive team and so was they. And we haven't hit a team that played that well against us defensively. And I guess we just didn't know what to do. Yeah, congrats to the Comets on a great season. Trophy time and trophy showcasing today at Eaton Rapids. The Greyhounds play tonight in the Class B semifinals against Flint Powers Catholic hit the Brez and they were strutting their stuff today at an afternoon pep rally. The student body there to send the Greyhounds off to the Breslin Center. They better close down the city tonight because everyone in ER is going to be in East Lansing watching Willis Whitmire and his Greyhounds in the semifinals. We'll have highlights of that tonight. And we have a whole recap of that game, the Grand Ledge game, along with Michigan State and Michigan tonight at 11:15 on the Dean Trailways fifth quarter. The birthday boy, Kevin Gale, joins me in studio. Yes, you can send him a cake if you'd like. We'll be looking for that. See you tonight. <laughs>